of where he where he's stuck. Okay, right here, I'm gonna pull forward and then I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna make sure you get out, but don't go anywhere. Did not wait for me. Mother I didn't say go, I said wait. Oh my. What? I can't be tired? Nope. Good morning, everybody. It is uh, like roughly 7.30 a.m. Uh, as you guys saw, I started up the 35 ton, got some things ready. I'll just get this out of the way right off the bat. That water bottle, yes, it is very big. Um, it, that thing weighs like literally four pounds, five pounds, maybe even more. Um, let me get in the truck here and I'll give you kind of the rundown of the day so you guys can actually hear me so this morning obviously I'm in the 35 ton um, let me get a shot of Jorge leaving see uh, Jorge leaving right there uh, he picked up that in Pasadena for one of our entertainment accounts um, they're having a show at the Rose Bowl if you guys saw on Facebook or uh, Instagram then uh, you guys could have seen us out there. We took a bunch of loads of staging out to Pasadena in the Rose Bowl. They're having a show. I think it's, uh, crap, I can't think of it. Sophie can put in the little headliner picture and some pictures of it. Um, but anyway, he's gonna be delivering that back to here in India where they store some of that equipment. He basically brought some extra stuff back. I'm in the 3510, as I said. I'm gonna be heading to Whitewater Rest Area, which is eh, about 30, 40 miles from here. We're gonna be winching out a truck. I think it's a Kenworth. Um, they got stuck. I did get some pictures of it. It's super simple winch out, so we should be okay with that. Pop that guy out really quick, and then we'll be heading to downtown Palm Springs to pick up a trash truck. And that trash truck's going to the Fontana area. Can't really film much of the trash truck since it's one of our accounts, but I'll try to get some shots that don't really expose who it is, but kind of show you guys what we're doing. And then from there, um, I don't really know what else is going on other than Tony. Um, we have a new driver, Tony. He's worked for us previously. He went and did something else uh, for a few years and now he's back into towing. So, But um, Tony is on his way to Prim, Nevada, picking up some equipment. Um, we have two water trucks, a blade, a dozer, and I think that's it, yeah. Um, two water trucks, a blade, and a dozer in Prim, Nevada, coming back to Palm Springs that we're gonna be picking up throughout the week today. So I think I might have my hands on one of those loads sometime this week, because the blade or the dozer requires some, some of the, uh, either the three axle or the Cozad, probably the three axle. So anyway, that is what's going on this morning, um, at least a little bit, a little glimpse into what's going on this morning. Um, so let's go ahead and pull out of the yard and get moving on this uh, winch out and the tow. Um, just checking my fuel here. Let's see. Looks like I have three quarter in one and just under three quarter in the other. This truck's got some decent sized tanks. We're just going, you know, 100 miles up the road, so we should be okay. Um, all right, let's go ahead and roll. All right, we are here at the westbound Whitewater Rest Area. I'm pretty sure I have an idea of where he, where he's stuck. We have a kind of a regular spot here that they like to get stuck at. So let's go ahead and see if I am right. It's just on the other side of these trucks. Basically, they come in here and they can't find a parking spot at night and they park on the dirt. And there's kind of like an uneven section of dirt up here that gets them losing traction on one side or the other. It's probably him, right? There. There's that spot, and then there is this spot up 
Pierce <laughs> for whatever reason and don't ask me why but they're I don't know if you guys can tell that's a bank right there trucks will drive up on that bank and park and yeah we'll get stuck in that but yeah this is our guy right here so empty trailer I'll probably just grab the trailer honestly and pull him out so I'm gonna pull up alongside him here and see what we can do okay video turn on some lights since I'm so close to the fog line here even though it's the rest area on ramp. Idle up a little bit and uh, we'll let base know we're 97. We're back to 97 with the wind chop. Morning. Morning. Alrighty. Uh, so you're empty correct? Yes. Yeah, empty? Okay. Alright give me a second I'll hook up and we'll pull you out of here okay? Alright so first thing I like to do is just make sure that they didn't try to drop this trailer which I would be able to tell by the uh, if the fifth wheel handles pulled or slightly out. But we can always come in here and confirm the jaws are locked up. Another telltale sign, can't really do it here, but in soft sand, if the pads have an imprint, it means they try. truck and trailer I'm just gonna grab the corner pocket of the trailer we you can do this with loaded ones but the as you guys can see the angle isn't the greatest but since it's empty it'll pop right out he's barely stuck honestly him being empty is probably what's made, what made him stuck there, we'll hook that up there Okay, go ahead and release your brakes, please. Both uh, truck and trailer, in. Okay, both? Yeah. Okay, foot off the brake. Okay, and then neutral? Yep. Okay, and then turn a little bit to the right. Right there, okay, perfect. So, it's in, brake. I'm sorry? In, yes. Okay, and then I'm gonna winch you, just let me do the pulling. And then uh, just watch me, I'm gonna tell you which way to steer, okay? Set your brakes. Go ahead and set, yeah, set your brakes. Should be able to get out. He's on solid ground. Okay. Just stay right here. I'm gonna pull forward and then I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna make sure you get out, but don't go anywhere. Just wait for me to come back, okay? I always tell them to wait because sometimes it's happened before that they'll, uh, they'll try to take off and they'll get stuck again. Whether it be that they turn their wheel too hard or they literally forgot to release their trailer brake and they, uh, so that's happened before so that's why I tell them just wait for me, please and sometimes they don't even listen to that Yeah, see look, he didn't he did not wait for me did not wait for me He's gonna get stuck Mother I didn't say go I said wait now you guys are stuck again. You mind if I drive please I'm gonna try to get it out already locked. It's not good? No. You guys are stuck. No, that's good. We want it there, but you guys are stuck again. <laughs> well, 
Watch out, buddy. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna give it some go. Yes, that's the switch you want to use when you're when you're stuck oh. or in soft sand or if you know you're going in soft sand But you can't go on the road with that. No, no, no. Okay, and no turns no sharp turns. Alrighty. That is uh, that's funny I literally called that they got themselves stuck a lot of times It's just knowing how to drive in the dirt too. They had their wheels completely turned and they were going slow You have your wheels turned it takes a lot more uh, effort to get out of a get out of a hole. So if you straighten up the wheels, lock up the differential, be okay. Um, so with that being said, looks like they're all good. I'm just gonna make sure they're good to go, and uh, we're gonna go hook up our tractor. So uh, I was kind of in a rush out of the yard, and I just noticed that I should have checked that, or sh I should have looked at all the tires. And I was thinking about it, but I was like, yeah, it should be good. Darrell just drove it yesterday. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna have to have Mark come and change that out because towing this trash truck to uh, Fontana on that. Man, that sucks. So in terms of airing up trucks, most of your trucks are going to have an air dryer. Any at least truck that runs down the road that I've ran into new, newer, I guess, even, I mean, I don't know the year cut off, but I mean, probably some like 80s trucks might not have, or might not have this particular one, but anything that you're, pretty much anything that you run into the road now is gonna have an air dryer and it's gonna have some sort of plug. It's either gonna be a 9 16 or a 11 16 plug. You pull this plug out and you put an air fitting into it, airs up the whole system. It basically back feeds the system, fills up your tanks. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pull this plug out and plumb in our own air fitting and that'll air up this whole system and allow us to release the brakes. Okay, that's all it is right there. Just a, a plug. So, take a, a fitting and we already have specific fittings that we use this one has a, a bushing in it that takes it up to that thread pattern so we'll thread that in a lot of times I gotta take off my glove to do it there we go get it started glove back on and uh, I'll just give it a few more twists Okay, so that's all good. We'll put the plug back in our air fitting box. That way we have it when we uh, go to drop the truck. Take this fitting from our air hose and we'll just plug it right in. Okay, so next up, we're gonna have to remove the drive shaft. Um, let's see, I don't have the brakes released. So okay, it has a little bit of free play, so that's okay. We're okay. A lot of times, you have to uh, remove or uh, release the brakes to get free play. So first thing you always do, check for that free play. If you don't have free play, you need to do you need to free it up. So if you pull it out, and it means it's under tension. This thing's gonna fly out and hit you in the face, probably kill you, literally. Um, okay, so now chances are this is a half inch. Yeah. So we will take our impact gun. Start zipping these away. This is Darl's impact. It's a Harbor Freight impact. I was skeptical. I'm a Milwaukee guy, but this thing's actually pretty impressive. It, uh, it puts out some power. take our uh, pry bar and I like to just stand out of the way 
no point in trying to catch this thing. It's heavy, it's metal, it ain't gonna hurt it. Pop it, pop it. Make sure it doesn't hit the camera, but it's okay. All right. Now, this is already undone, so I'm just gonna pull it out. And so, there you go. Drive shaft's out. Alrighty. So the brakes are released, obviously. I released them off camera. This is our airline that's supplying the uh, air to the brakes, or to the tanks, I should say, to release the brakes. I'm going to utilize a, uh, a rim sling here. So this all stays in the same plane. Okay, so we got all this extra slack. I like to leave myself a good amount of extra and then take a bungee. And just do something like this. So that way you got plenty of returns. But it's not obviously dragging on the ground when you're driving. All right, so we're pretty much all hooked up, ready to go. Um, some of you guys might be wondering why we hook up the truck like this. This is called, uh, at least what we call chain slinging. Um, there's a couple different ways you can do it. If there's pins in the front bumper, you can do that. If there's an axle like this, but basically, it basically you're only extended out a couple inches, so this thing tows so much better. Another reason is you, if you were to reach out and grab the axle with this underlift, you'd obviously be extended out very far, and um, depending on if it's loaded or the spec of the truck. In general, trash trucks are very heavy, and so what will happen is you'll end up doing wheelies down the road. Um, you'll, your front end steering will be very light. You'll be overweight on your on your drive tires of the tow truck. So by doing it like this, the towability of the uh, unit goes up dramatically because you're only extended out a couple inches. So this is one of the ways we do it. Um, unfortunately, I'd like this to be better, but you can't really because there's a, a plate under here that kind of prevents it from seating properly. But the, basis of this is that it spreads out the weight across the metal bumper rather than just in one single spot where the chain's riding so all right light bar is on i put that off camera and uh yeah so let's go ahead and go into we're going to fontana all right there's mark tractor only that is holding for us it's at a uh, hagen lehman 
which was one exit west of the rest area that we were at this morning. So we're kind of just hightailing it back to the desert so that we can go ahead and hook that up and come back to Fontana, Freightliner of Fontana. So busy day today. Um, Roberto was out all night last night. He took a truck and trailer to Blythe. And uh, so he's been at home sleeping. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this truck. All right, guys, we just backed up to our truck here. I'm going to go ahead and hook it up because we're right on the white line in a bad spot. But I'll go ahead and probably film the uh, drop off when we're at the dealership in a little more safe spot. So let me hook this up really quick. All right, guys, truck is dropped. We're here in Fontana. I'm just waiting for the guy to show up to uh, pay me. Normally, that's not how we do things. When someone says they're going to pay us in cash, it's kind of the under the assumption that they have cash on them. So I told him if he's not back in 15 minutes, his truck's going back on the hook. Not like I'm actually going to do that, but just to get a little pep in their step. Because uh, we just got a rollover. Dual rollover, actually. Two trucks rolled over. Statewide's got one of them. We got the other. Um, due to the wind. It's starting to rain and get stormy back home. And uh, two trucks just rolled over up on east of town. So my dad's already on his way up. I'm uh, about, probably about an hour and a half out. I'm just going to start hightailing it back that way. Um, we'll see what we come up with. So that, more than likely, if... I end up recording it like I said it's dumping rain so I don't know if we'll just see but if I do end up recording it'll probably be a separate video so uh, probably just gonna end the video here for the day so uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video as always like comment subscribe thank you for watching let me know in the comments what you thought see you on the next thanks